Let's see how hard he's gonna kick my ass. Because I forgot how difficult this one is. We're gonna we're gonna play the fireball game against him. Of course he gets free double fireballs in the air. I should not be challenging with fireballs, right? Oh, we got a knockdown. Let's go. Oh, ah. oh he's called the true Kuma. Do you see how, how fast this is? Wow, I can react to it, even though I'm almost full screen away. Oh, oh my god, okay. I should not be playing the fireball game against this. Uh, okay, okay, that's bad. Okay, okay. So, yeah, plus, 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 right? Okay, okay, we got the jump in. I'm gonna grab him here. Of course, you can just jump out of it like that. Okay, again, okay. Okay, we're just gonna jump in until we win. He has full invincibility on that teleport. It's unbelievable. Still alive. Still alive. Still alive. I'm completely stuck in the corner right now. I can't do anything. What do I even do? <laughs> I swear to God, he's going to tie me out like that. Oh my god, did you just see the grab range? What am I even supposed to do there? <laughs> he can't, like, I was locked in the corner. <laughs> oh man. There we go. Oh my god. I'm finally getting that full conversion into the full leverage of the corner control. Ah oh man, I'm so happy about that. Oh. How did that not hit him? I seriously, what's the logic behind that tornado? Even if, even if my opponent is not in range, he's still gonna hit it? What was that? Rashid was clearly in front of the tornado. Why did it not clip him? Oh my god, that was optimal. This is gonna be extremely difficult to do. You can go for the full thing, by the way. Okay, that was four. I got seven again. Ah, oh, God. No. I swear to God, number eight is faster than the rest. I'm maybe I'm going crazy, but I feel like the eight, number eight is faster than the rest.
Oh my god. I got the full thing. And I told you guys, hit number eight trolls you. Because it's actually way faster than the rest. Holy shit. This is difficult. Jesus. How long did that take me? That took me like, what? Two hours to get once? I'm trying to super. Oh my god, I can't believe uh, something similar happened like twice in this match. Oh my god. Did I just lose the match because of that? Can actually not kill. So he goes. Oh my god. Oh my god, he didn't even have to spend CA. It is legit the worst case scenario that has happened to me. Oh my god. Worst case happened. All because I like I've I've not dropped this specific combo like that in like what three months? <laughs> oh my god. Great start. Love that. Lost within five seconds. Great. Feels good, man. This is this is where you feel good. Oh, great. Amazing. Optimal punishes. You can follow up with the DP when you land that, by the way.
This character gets to choose. Oh, oh, this is dangerous now. Oh. That was nice. Five medals now. Oh my god, she's dead. She's dead. That's it. Don't get don't get meddled. Don't meddle with Manon. I'm sad that she's like she's not. She will out meddle you. <laughs> Okay, get to level 3 so we can recover before him. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on him to jump. And if he jumps here, he dies, okay? That's the idea. Okay, uh, no worries. We didn't have to think about anything, okay? Just let him kill himself. <laughs> My bad, guys. Overanalyzing the situation. Because of that, it's kind of necessary to go for the lowest, lower, like lowest input lag that you can possibly achieve. Smiley face. Oh my god, he got absolutely destroyed. Jesus Christ. There we go. I think that's legit the very first time ever I get this punish. <laughs> oh man, that's such an absurd combo. Oh, I gotta love this one. Imagine you land that in a real match. It's actually not that. I mean, the un the only unlikely scenario that is in this is having the Denshin charge. But you don't really have to go for that. You know, you can just do end in. Ah, this is just too good. No, this is cool. Unbelievable. Don't ever do that against me, my man. <laughs> oh man, I definitely got him good. No! I really fucked it up. But hey, I got the stun twice! Fucking I'm not gonna look! He knows I'm gonna jab to bait it, so he does one after! Do you know what I mean? Jimmy's not good at this game. He's not good at street fight. He's a fucking scrub. Fucking winds me up. I can't play this guy seriously. I can't take him seriously. Do you know what's happening? I'm not mashing against him. Because I'm trying to fucking play. Fucking scrub. Then why winds me up, bro? He winds me up. He's not a fucking player, bro. He's a yellow little fucking piece of shit. No CPT today, no. Next week. Car shows that fuck me. He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he must listen to me, bro. He must listen to me, man. He must listen to me, bro. I'm at again, for fuck's sake. It's fucking dude, bro. It's a fucking scrub. That's his back, because he knows I'm going to wait for a fucking match. Fucking scumbag. Fucking game winding up. Fucking shit, dude. Always the fucking shit. Fucking scrub! 
This guy is not good at the game. You risk. can't play with him. He plays like a scrub. He's not good. Oh, He's not fucking good at this game. Stream. He's been beaten bumped, bro. Being beaten bumped. Ah, oh, those EXT feel When Street Fighter 6 comes out, you're not going to be some 10 year old game. You know that. I'm going to fucking okay. ruin you. Bro, you Who fucking is scrub. And will forever be my nemesis in time. Jesus, bro. I'm trying to play the game here. I might as well just play like a YOLO bomb against you, Jimmy. Fucking hell, this guy's turd, bro. Round one. Fucking turd, man. Fight. Oh, that was absolutely perfect. Wow. What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. I really hope you're doing great on this wonderful Tuesday. So, yeah, today we're going to be uh, checking out Street Fighter 6. We're going to be talking about, like, the video that I made uh, around, um, well, the analysis, which is uh, doing well on YouTube, which I'm very happy about in case you haven't seen it. After the stream, I guess, would be a great moment to uh, check it out. Um, some stuff discovered as well when it comes to the um, the way Street Fighter handles inputs. quite fascinating. Um, and also, today's stream is sponsored. I feel like I have not had a sponsorship in a while. In such a long time. <laughs> I guess it feels a bit awkward, right? But yeah, uh, shouts to Call of Dragons uh, for being today's sponsor. We're going to be checking the game out for an hour as well. Um, so yeah, you can look forward to that. Anyone who downloads the game on PC, by the way, through my link, you can have a link here. Uh, whether it's Twitch or YouTube, um, you're going to get a link right there. If you download the game on PC, this is important, not on your phone, but on PC. Um you uh, trigger the alert in the bottom right and uh, you can have a set if you want to okay i'll be this week i'm gonna be doing a couple of a replay analysis as well and i'm definitely gonna give people who download the game priority in that case okay it doesn't guarantee a replay analysis uh, so really please don't expect one uh, but for sure um once i get to viewing some replays if you are part of the promotion uh, your chances are a lot better to actually get one. So definitely check it out. Um, Call of Dragons, by the way, uh, I downloaded it today as well. Um, it's actually very straightforward, like, to... It's not, a, 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 like... It doesn't have, um, unlike other games, like... <clears throat> crazy requirements when it comes to, like, the amount of data that you have to download, okay? It's, um... Uh, it's 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 a reasonably sized game so you can actually download it within like five minutes or so depending on um how good your internet is and it's gonna immediately trigger an alert and one thing to really pay attention to um create when you're creating an account okay when you download the game uh please create a proper account not a guest account it will not work if you're if you create a guest account okay so please keep this in mind Okay, and 3 million uh, copies sold to Street Fighter uh, 6. I really have to check at this point uh, the difference between this and Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 5 took quite a lot longer, right? I will not do the analysis do versus Paladin today, no. Um, probably on... Uh, huh. Actually, let me think about this. When can I do it? Should we do it today? Do you guys want to do it today? Maybe we'll do it today. I might do it today. I might do it today. Up to you, Jimmy. By the way, good to see all of you guys. Let me say hi. Red the Dawn X, Chaos Traffic, good to see you. We have Haruki Sensei, Zolf Q Official, Zossi XS, uh, Zolf Q 
Q official. I did, I did say hi to you before, right? No, Zolf Q official. Good to see you. Um, Columbus Art. We have Flambo. Ross 1780. Psycho Sonic. Kruger. What's up? Kid Breeze. Wise Wind. Unihorn. Goichi Twitch. How's it going? So Beat. What's up? He did it, he actually did it. Did you just see that? He did the drive impact like instantly. Had he already planned to do that? That was not a reaction. That's so greedy. That's so unbelievably greedy. Can I play the footsie battle against this character, right? I have to play... I have to do it differently. I cannot play footsies against this character. I shouldn't be doing that. I need to exclusively throw fireballs. That's what I need to do. Always make this mistake against this character, but it seriously looked like he was using a DI script, right? The only explanation I have for this is he actually committed to a drive impact in that spot. kind of funny like I have no idea like how do other characters play against Jamie can somebody explain this to me it seems like you cannot play footsies against Jamie because he has so many good buttons to uh, counter whatever you're doing
Paul Domen, Love from Germany. Ja, Liebe zurück, auch aus Deutschland. Willkommen. God, you need to do a heavy there. You need to do a heavy punch. I don't do this combo very often, so I actually forgot. God, what was that? my opinion on my loyal fans somewhat weak Oh, he really killed himself with that one.
Jappy420, Svenimal, what's up? The Rocco, how's it going? We have Parody as well. Good to see all of you guys on Twitch and YouTube. Here comes a new challenger. As a Geef main, I'm upset, but your opinion is valid. <laughs> and I mean, we do have a Geef at Capcom Cup. So that's gonna be interesting to to see, you know. Honestly, it's not worth doing more than that. I don't want to burn myself out and not kill him, and I also don't see the need to spend any meter in that spot. Could have maybe killed him if I had spent uh, the drive gauge though. No. Oh, that's a disaster. I really gave him that whip punish. God, he really gave that one to me. How poke heavy is this game? Depends. Like pokes can be really powerful. Spending. There's no way I could have killed without spending here. Oh, I could have burned him out, my bad. Ha ha ha! 
had the reeds. Oh man, it's so unfortunate I didn't get the perfect parry. Oh man. I knew it though, I knew it. Yo, Jappy. The main problem that I have with uh, my club is I don't have any slots left. I have like a million people who tr are trying to get in and I have no idea how to solve the problem. Capcom should really give us more slots. I want to be a part of the Ryu army. What does free set mean? It means that you download Call of Dragons. Um, and uh, it should show up in my overlay right away. You might need to start the game once for it to show up. I'm actually not quite sure about that. Um, but then, like, once uh, it triggers... And it will trigger, by the way, only on... Maybe I should clarify that. You need to download the game on PC. This is important, not on your phone. It needs to be on PC. And you need to create a real account, not a guest account. Okay? And then you can have a best of three set against me in Street Fighter 6. With feedback on your gameplay if you want to. Which character do I recommend to start with? Well, there are, like, a lot of good characters to start with and just a few to avoid. Like, any character that is labeled inside of training or versus mode as difficult, you should, uh, you should avoid that. Wait, for real? Yes. <laughs> yes, for real. Let me see, like, um... Wait a minute, the Call of Dragon command did not go through on Twitch or YouTube. Why not? Let me see. Hmm, command is currently broken. I'm not sure why. I'll check it out in a second. You can alternatively also... It's up to you, obviously, like, you don't have to do great, it's just if you like to play me or want to get feedback on your gameplay, then you can have that. I'm gonna try to... Wait, so if you if you write the message on YouTube it will work? Cammy wins! 
Could've done super. Man SF6 kostenlos? Nee, wie soll das funktionieren? I use a pal attack, but didn't quite get it. That was actually optimal. The fact that I didn't get the cinematic was optimal because I got Oki, which was un uh, like inevitable for him. That was unavoidable. That was a checkmate scenario just because I didn't get the full animation. That heavy was meaty, yeah.
both actually scared to do stuff. Like, even, like, jab, like, it always feels bad getting interrupted from light punch into a light kick. That's just unsafe, and uh, really good players around 19 to legend rank, uh, like, 1900 to legend rank, actually know about it. It's really tough. Oh, there's one thing I actually forgot to change. Give me a second. Good boy. Good to see you on YouTube. You can wake up four so she can't grab you. you. Can wake up forward so she can't grab you. What does that mean? Also, like, let me let me see if the command works now. Right, I want to actually check that. Right, because for some reason the command didn't work. Okay, so it works on Twitch, but for some reason it didn't work for me on YouTube. Right. It's really odd. We should check that again. Uh, it's very inconsistent for some reason. Like earlier it worked and now it doesn't work anymore. It's like a hit and miss situation. Maybe I should put the link in the description as well, so you guys can find it regardless. It doesn't actually have any cooldown, no. Now it works again, okay? Let's just hope it's gonna keep working. <laughs> it's wild that a reused Light Punch Light Kick doesn't link. Not only does it not link, like I actually died because I did that on block. It's actually not safe on block. Quite interesting.
Okay. Let's go. Let's continue. What do you think is more important and why? One button parry or one button DI? They are both important, but it's more important to have... Uh, it's less likely to have issues with one button DI than one button parry. Like, the parry, when you're trying to do a perfect parry, you need to be frame perfect effectively like you you effectively always need to be uh frame perfect right or one off so if you're plinking it then you don't actually get it so um with the eye only in the worst case scenario is it an issue for you to uh, to do it it's not for the eye it's actually more about Hitting hard punch and hard kick at the same time actually takes time. That's the issue. was willing to get hit by level 2 here, okay. Yo, oh, Mudan. Mudan Weird, what's up, my man? The reason I'm asking is because I'm building a hitbox and can't find a good placement for both buttons, so one has to suffer. The standard layout is highly problematic for Street Fighter 6. Okay, I can't drive rush in against good players, okay. Lesson learned. What's that button on block? What's that button on hit? That button is the bane of my existence. This is a bad matchup? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. It shouldn't be, but I just don't know how to play it. I don't I really don't know how to deal with the medium punch. I don't know what to do against that. That button just, just kills me. By the way, good to see you, um Oh the uh, good to see you. Jim from Fury and Arcade, what's up? Thank <laughs> you. 
Really not expecting that at all. Uh, is Discord a good place to request match requests? I mean, if you have someone in my community that plays a specific matchup, sure. My bad. My bad. I didn't play this one well. Six has the best sim ever. I think Street Fighter Five sim was absolutely amazing. Here comes a new challenger. Okay. Genuinely inventing setups on the fly right here. What? How many trades was that?
Of course it's gonna get that. Not dead, and he knows that he's not spending everything. Oh, I should have known, I should have known that was just unsafe and bad. It was a little bit too far away to make that one safe. My bad. Oh my god, he actually got it. Not spending anything. Uh, okay, I need more fireballs against a player like this. Try to do a donkey kick and I just can't do it from a... It's very ironic, you know? Um, Capcom attempted to, uh, like, gave us a new quarter circle motion with a half circle input. But ironically, um, it only works on certain inputs. This is something you should really be able to choose. On Hitbox, I, I can't reliably go from a down back position to doing a donkey kick. Uh, that in particular is very difficult to do simply because doing a, a from a down back if you go from down back to like a half circle motion it's very it's actually very likely on hitbox to miss the down input um, not something I ever had issues with on any other input device so that's quite unfortunate choice in this con context. I can just can't do my inputs today. Can't go from down back to doing core circle motion in Street Fighter.
Couldn't decide what to do there. See, like, this is the Paladin tech. With a hard punch, do crush and medium punch drive crush cancel. It's not bad. It's really not bad. To me, are also playing Grand Blue? Nope. At least not at the moment. Probably never. doing the same thing now. <laughs> but he's not doing the drive rush cancel. <laughs> Let's go. Inspired by Paladin. No, like, this is genuinely killing me right now. I'm I'm dying. Uh, let's do let's do something better here. Oh, that was actually a really good conversion from him. You look so goofy just punching the air. It's quite interesting. I I need to find the the right amount. You know, you need to just uh, understand the right spacing for everything. And then it becomes really powerful. <clears throat> this. Uh oh. No. That was perfect. That was the only neutral jump he did the entire game. And he happened to do it on the only solar plexus that I did in the entire game. Crazy.
Oh wow, that ja that dash is actually unsafe. This guy. Killed you. Parry is not easier, it's faster primarily. So yeah, whenever you're doing a buffer, like a drive rush cancel as a buffer, you want to do it uh, with parry input. Which actually works um, against you, by the way. Downloads 2. Now it actually says downloads 2. But thank you so much whoever signed up for Call of Dragons. Really appreciate the support. If you guys want to have a free set against me, definitely. Check it out, we're gonna be playing the game for one hour later on as well. And um, yeah, anyone who downloads the game on PC with a proper account, no guest account please, so please put in your email address uh, for this to work, and it has to be on PC, uh, you will get a uh, set against me in Street Fighter 6. Definitely check it out. Oh wow, what? Oh, it's a grounded hit, I keep forgetting. No, Paladin vs. Knuckle Doo analysis is still coming. Yet. I'm, uh, so I'm really messing this up. God help me with this.
God help me with the Rashid matchup. Quite fascinated by the amount of drive impact that I see. That was an absolute disaster right there. That was horrible. Yo, chat, what's up? How's it going? Doing great. Ah, optimal. Let's go. Something fancy right there. He needs a jump in, and he shouldn't know that. I have no idea why I just went went through with that. Sometimes I feel like I'm playing like I don't want to win. How's Bell, my man? Wann wollten wir noch mal grillen? Übermorgen? Oder so?
Vielen, vielen Dank. Thank you so much, by the way, as well, for the 33 months. I really appreciate that. Good luck on your matches. Yeah, Wonder Boy. I'll need it. Paladin versus versus analysis video was a great watch, by the way, dude. Super useful seeing one player break down the decision making of one another, uh, of another. Yeah, um, like it's actually quite fascinating because the video that I uploaded is by far the best performing video in a in a long time on my channel, uh, and it's a very long video. That's a really good sign actually for my channel because. I know I'm gonna make uh, a good chunk of revenue out of it, which is nice. And at the same time, it's content that I personally think is really useful. So I'm happy to see that. Like, I, I, I have a tendency of like not doing this kind of upload because I'm like, who's gonna watch one hour? Who's gonna watch a one hour upload like that? And I think I'm wrong on this. I think uh, I'm... Ah, give me a second, let me beat this guy. every time in that spot. Oh my god, that was such a disgusting combo. That was disgusting. I'm disgusted at myself right now. Jesus. Like all of that, all of that was a combo right there. Like from the moment I hit the fireball. Dude, we'll just do that, okay. That was an input error, by the way. Just so you know. <laughs> Uh, I'm annoyed by players who do stuff. I want you to just sit still and like not do stuff. Can we make that work? Let's see if we can. Apparently not. Fucked up. And I also don't hear anything at the moment. I hate it when the other guy plays, right? Like, you can't let me have a win in peace, you know? This is so, so incredibly rude. What, Whatever happened to, like, be, like... 
being good sport, you know? Wow, I guess wrong on everything. He just killed me with one opening. And it continues. No! <laughs> I just done level 3, what am I doing? <laughs> I was like, I did the level 2, I was like, okay, that's just not gonna kill, and then I'm dead. Oh man. Ah. Uh... I think I, I have a really bad tendency in this game to just really be too greedy way too often, you know, like challenger. that was completely unnecessary. Wait, that was plus? That was plus. That move is plus. What what's the, the what's the hit like it's plus one? Why doesn't nobody do that ever? That's plus three, and on hit he gets a combo. I didn't know he has all the plexus. Seven months into the game. I've never seen that move before. And I'm asking myself, why do I not see that move? Why does Guile not use that? Is it too slow? Sit up. 
I'm like waiting until he recovers. Like, oh, this is a great moment to do the drive impact. Do it now. Wait for it. Then he recovers. I'm like, now. It's like the meme from the fake Black Friday deals on Amazon. Where they're scratched like the, the, the standard price and just... Uh, you guys know what meme I'm talking about. I mean, I'm not... Ah, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, from Braveheart, exactly. But Guile move, the move that is plus three on block and plus one, no, plus three on hit and plus one on block. Which one, which one was it? No, it's combo so it has to be plus four on. Plus three on block and, and plus at least four on hit. That move. Okay, right, we're gonna be doing after this match. We're gonna be doing the uh, the paladin uh, analysis. Okay. No, you could have killed me. What a mistake. Oh, punished. Exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted because now I can force it to spend super. I baited the meter. Okay, got him good. Got him good. No! Nowhere! <laughs> you know what happened here? I got clipped again by the game. I got clipped again by the game. Tried to do crouching medium kick right when he did the drive rush. Didn't get it. I got an empty parry and he got a punish counter on it. And I legit died because of it. Great. Why would you press a button if I'm plus one there? Every single time I look in a different direction, this happens to me.
Okay. Love you, Street Fighter 6 content these days. I remember playing you and getting battered back in Street Fighter 5. I think you used to do sessions versus subs and gave great feedback. I'd still do these sessions. At the moment, you can even get a, a completely free option with Call of Dragons. All you have to do is install the game. You don't even have to play it. Just install the game. Uh, make sure the, the uh, you download it on PC and with a real account, not a guest account. And um, we can play a set. Optimal if you want to lose. That was optimal, guys. If I wasn't in block stun, I could have actually done the perfect parry attempt there. like a brick wall. That deserved to be a perfect kill, right? Yeah. You think you should recover if you successfully hit drive reversal? I think, like, drive reversal itself, honestly, needs to be buffed or, like, significantly changed, you know? 
it's absurdly weak. Just put it this way. But yeah, if you're watching right now, by the way, <clears throat> if you enjoy what I do here, you want to support me, you want to get a set against me, check out <clears throat> the sponsor for today, Call of Dragons. Download the game for free on PC. All you have to do is download it, create a proper account, not a guest account, and um, then it should increase the downloads count in the bottom right of this stream, and then you get a set against me for free. So definitely check it out. We're going to be playing Call of Dragons for one hour later on as well. But first, we have some work to do. We have some proper work to do with the set Paladin versus Knuckledew. That's something that I want to do today. Uh, so that's an upload still missing on my YouTube channel. So uh, let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm glad, Jimmy, you're getting sponsors. The main sponsor are you guys, actually. If it wasn't for you guys watching and actually caring about the shit that I do on stream, none of this would be possible. So thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go. Let's watch um, these replays. Okay, so here we are. This is, um, Loser's Finals, right? <clears throat> and let me think about this. Is this Loser's Finals? No, it actually couldn't be Loser's Finals. What was the... No, this is, this is Loser's side, of course. No, but I'm actually confused right now. Let me, let me check real quick. Yeah, it's semi-final. Okay. No, it's semi-final. Right. So, Paladin versus Knuckle do semi-finals. Um, so, this is... Um, this is going to be the final match, unfortunately, that Paladin played. So, let's take a look at... Or maybe, maybe you know... Why not, why not do it like this? I'm going to show the bracket first. How about that? Okay, so for those who just tuned in, we're going to be taking a look. Why can I not get the... the... Wow. Wait, what? How do you move a window in Windows? Am I completely insane to think that that's possible? I know it's possible because I used to do it all the time. Why, why does the shortcut not work anymore? It's shift and the... Keys, that's what you usually do. Uh quite annoying, okay. Like this this is like my, my life as a streamer. For some reason, when there are technical issues, they only appear
Oh, it's, it's Windows. Oh, wow. Wow, why did I lose the muscle memory for that? Wow, I legit lost the muscle memory for that, so I couldn't do it. Great. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, we're good guys. Okay. So let's do this analysis, the final analysis. But first, let's take a look at the... Uh, the bracket right here. <clears throat> Final analysis, Paladin versus Knuckledoo. This is what is still missing. So, so far, we've actually looked at uh, Paladin versus um, Naji. Uh, even the match against Idom, which was not shown on stream. Uh, obviously, the match against Punk. And now the final one for Paladin. The brutal knockdown <laughs> by uh, Knuckledoo. Let's see how this is actually going to go, because... I think this really, this set demonstrated the issues that Ryu faces. Um, at the end of the day, Ryu really struggles against certain characters. And I think you could really see that in this match. So let's take a look. See, so like, effectively, Guile, like, Knuckledoo is forcing a gameplay that requires Paladin to take a risk with a jump in. That's effectively the entire matchup, okay? So, every single time you're gonna see this situation right here. If Paladin misses the perfect parry, which you cannot consistently get, because from this range you cannot react to whether it's a light or a heavy, um, <clears throat> so you're not gonna get it. And every single time this happens, Guile gets a free drive rush in, okay? This is only one bar for Guile. Like, really, keep keep in mind what's going on here. This is a really good situation for Guile. He doesn't have to do any work effectively, and he gets this. The only answer is, guess a jump in. You see that? Once again, drive rush in, miss the perfect parry. Well, I guess you're gonna die. And if he does get close, like, check this out. If he does get close, who's who's actually controlling this match? Ayatina. I know there's a, a tournament going on today, but I'm purposely not participating. I actually have to get up very early tomorrow, so I can't have a tournament run late today. Um, so, yeah. Let's take a look at this. So this this space is controlled entirely by Guile. Guile owns this space right here. Honestly, like uh, Paladin got really lucky to even get the side switch there. That was actually huge for him, but it still wasn't good enough. And funnily enough, like Knuckledoo is not even going for any kind of damage. He's just trying to damage the the drive gauge because he knows the win condition for paladin is gonna be to have drive gauge to do some like high damage combo later on if he damages the drive gauge as much, much as possible and gains this kind of space then he's winning like not not even necessary to do damage just go back to neutral see like like just just from playing like that Paladin is about to get burned out. Paladin has not used any of his drive gauge. And he's about to get burned out. He jumped in once. Got anti-aired. Took a major risk there just to get Guile off of him. And now he's going to get chipped. Because he can actually cannot keep up. This was just a lucky guess right there, right? Like, really, keep that in mind. And right there, what do you do? Well, you get chipped. That's what you do. Like, Paladin actually got lucky in this round quite a lot, and he still wasn't even close to winning. This is a nice sequence right there from Paladin, like this right here, you know? This is what you need to do. In key areas, go in gut in a gutsy fashion and apply some pressure.
And it, like, take a look at that. Take a, take a look at how much space Knuckle Dude controls here. Knuckle Dude controls so much space that he knows after that fireball, Paladin cannot press a button because he knows the sonic boom is coming. So either a jump in is going to happen or nothing is going to happen. So he just walks in and grabs him. <laughs> this is such a tough spot to be in right there. And right there, bam. Fortunately, Paladin knows exactly how to deal with the situation. He did a ton of damage and he's taking his time to push his opponent to the corner. This was the optimal conversion right here because now he's in a prime spot to take the round and kept a little bit of his meter. Very important. Could have comboed there technically, but I don't blame him. Like, it wasn't a safe way to combo there. He needed to do a light kick. If he had done a light kick after light punch blocked, he could have been interrupted, so he didn't want to go for that. And all of a sudden, take a look at that. Like, Paladin was in a great spot and all of a sudden it looks like he's going to be losing, right? This is the truth in this matchup. Like, even when you're doing so well, it's so easy for Guile to just take back the advantage. That was very, very lucky from uh, Paladin to even get the round. He dropped that fireball, got a DP. Free pressure for Knuckle Dew. Pay attention to the, the drive meter. Uh, Knuckle Dew at this point has done a drive rush cancel, right? Like we're 13 seconds in. Let, let's go back just so you see it again, okay? So here, Knuckle Dew spends three bars on a drive rush cancel. Paladin at that point has not spent any meter. Okay, he's not spent anything. And for some reason, they're equal <laughs> in terms of drive gauge. And Knuckle Dew has the better positioning now. This is this is what we're talking about when we're talking about this match. Okay? Like, you really gotta pay attention to the details. Like, how is Ryu winning this match? Or how is Gaia winning this match? If you take a look at this, you'll notice that, like, no matter how you look at it, Ryu is the one being pushed back continuously while losing Drive Gauge, while Guile is actually able to utilize Drive Rush cancels without any downside. They're both equal. It's just that Knuckle Dew has a much higher probability to do damage and to utilize his Drive Gauge. Paladin is the one who's just constantly trying to defend. So Paladin got one moment in. How did he get that, by the way? He got it because he... He happened to get a good read one time, and this was risky, by the way. That was that was a risky get-in. Like, Knuckle Dude was just being patient here. And now they're gonna go back to the same gameplay. This is such a brutal, brutal matchup. And this was only the first game, you know? And it feels, it feels like um, Guile is just in total control here. Who's better ending or Paladin? It's impossible to say. They have different opponents. They're probably on the same level. We'll, we'll have to see eventually. Is this a 7-3? Not sure, but it's definitely not a good match. It's definitely not a good matchup. Like, I just don't see what, what Knuckle do uh, or what, what Paladin could be doing better. Like, just check this out, how much meter he is using just to keep up. Like, the situation, the classic one. Regular parry into Drive Rush for, for Knuckle do and just in order to deny Knuckle do the pressure, He's using two bars. Like, take a look at that. He's less than halfway through his drive gauge because he used two bars, okay? 
And now he has to use even more bar to pressure Knuckle Dude. And now he's just dead. Because now he doesn't have any of his bar anymore. Knuckle Dude is fully stocked, fully loaded. And right now Paladin has to guess a jump in. Just like he did right there. He has to take major gambles once again. And take a look at Knuckle Dude. Very comfortable. Like, like, Paladin even got the perfect parry on that, but not on the second. In this situation, you have to double perfect parry in order to deny the advantage. I truly believe there's nothing not, like Paladin can do here. Like, what is he? What is he supposed to do? Guile just owns this space. You have to be lucky with the jump in. Wait, how do you double perfect parry? You have to manually time both parries. It's possible on the Sonic, what is, what is it called, Slash? Like, uh, you just have to time it correctly. Like, you have to tap parry twice in a row at the perfect time. Oh, Sonic Blade, right, my bad, Sonic Blade. Yeah, those rounds are hard, like, take a look at that, 10 seconds in, and like, finally, Paladin is getting a punish on those uh, drive rushes. But honestly, this is only because um, Knuckle Dew was being greedy right here. Actually, like, take a look at this. Yeah, Knuckle Dew was just being greedy. If he had done a button early on, he could have hit uh, Paladin out of it. So this was lucky once again. Like, in a in an advantageous situation, Knuckle Dew happened to uh, lose. This is how he got the Tatsu. Okay, slight advantage now, Paladin. Let's see how much you can make out of this. I really like the fact that Paladin can do super there, but it's just not effective enough. He has the drive gauge, but like, take a look at that. Take a look at how early, like, Knuckle Dew built all the drive gauge back. Once again, another situation where uh, Paladin got out of the situation against Guile because of sheer luck. He happened to guess right in a bad situation. Okay, so right now, it's... <sighs> it's definitely Paladin's advantage. So let's see if it's gonna go bad or not. Take a look, take, let's go back, okay? In this spot, In this spot, Paladin has more than four bars, and Knuckle Dew has approximately one bar, one and a half, right? Significant advantage to Paladin. Let's take a look at the counter. How many seconds does it actually take for uh, Knuckle Dew to, to get back to the same bar as Paladin? Okay, so at this point, six seconds afterwards, Paladin is approximately at the same bar, okay? Four bar, he built like half a bar, right? And Knuckle Dew at the same time built almost two bars, okay? I think, I think this is a great moment to see what's actually going on. Knuckle Dew is constantly building bar, and Paladin is struggling even in a situation where he has the advantage to get anything going this is quite interesting oh take okay take a look take a look at that <laughs> i needed to wait until this flash uh, the the sonic boom connected so six seconds in and a three bar advantage from paladin melted away <laughs> Now they're basically even, right? Isn't that insane? Six seconds. It took six seconds. And it wasn't like some crazy read that Knuckle Dew used. He just started playing the matchup like regular again. And now he spent a bar. You see, this is why he can afford to constantly just spend bars on this.
that's it. See how that's gonna go? Even if he didn't get the jump in here, he still had the advantage. Even if he didn't get the bar, like the jump in, he was uh, he was going to recover from the stun earlier than um, I mean from the uh, from the burnout earlier than um, Paladin. Crazy, absolutely insane. The meter that you're having to deal with as Paladin versus Knuckle Dew is just it's crazy. Like, like, I'm trying to understand, okay, what could have Paladin possibly done? Where did he go wrong? And the only conclusion that I have is, well, he needed to be luckier on jump-ins, and he needed to go for more jump-ins. And that's bad in a match. If you feel like you needed to jump more in order to win, then that's kind of bad. Like, once again, take a look at this. See? Th this is a situation that was completely for free, and... Nothing Paladin can do, and you you have to take the gamble here. You just have to take the gamble. Couldn't have avoided it. Crazy. That was a good jump, by the way. This was a good sequence by Paladin. Perfect parry into a jump. Only problem is, the Sonic Blade actually made the, um, the jump in not like punishable and the cool thing here take a look at this after this fireball the crouching medium punch oh no never mind he got clipped there <laughs> but but knuckle Dew is being greedy here and now he's gonna get punished okay so uh paladin found a, a a good moment to get a button in like this but take a look at this like he still doesn't have the life lead and he's desperately uh, needing some drive gauge here. And once again, see that? Paladin knew... Okay, Guile's gonna control the, the space here. I can't afford to press buttons. Knuckle, Knuckle Dude just came up for the throw instead. Like, as long as you know what's going on in the matchup, it's just so tough to avoid this. This is like such a bad match. Yeah, Tatsu is an option. Like, you do the Tatsu, and you instantly decide who's gonna win that match on that Tatsu. Okay? Uh, if, if Guile does a Sonic Boom, then you get 10% damage, and you don't get Oki afterwards. And then Guile controls the space again. And if Guile doesn't do a Sonic Boom, then you lose 50% of your life. Yeah, I mean, you can Tatsu, sure. Yeah, that's a good, uh, good decision, you know? If you want to speed up the match, you can Tatsu, for sure. You see, like, how desperate... By the way, the idea behind this drive impact right here is he was hoping th there was going to be an upside down kick, okay? Uh, something like that. He was hoping upside down kick, some some big button that he can, or forward hard kick, um, uh, so he can get the drive impact because he's, he's, he's desperate in that spot. He needs something. But instead, the drive rush was coming, was, which, by the way, is always a good option for Guile against Ryu. And uh, yeah, that happens to always mess with you. This super is only here to burn the drive gauge of Paladin. This is an excellent spot for Knuckle Dew. And honestly, not a whole lot that you can do here. Let's check why, why Paladin got hit here. It was tried to parry this, right? No, he jumped! Oh, he was trying to jump! I just, just check this out. Like, Jesus Christ, what are you supposed to do? What are you even supposed to do there? I kind of wish to look at this replay and have some kind of, like, 
end on a positive note for the Ryu players, okay? But I just can't help but but say you're just constantly in a bad spot. Well, like whatever you do, you're in a bad spot. And that's sad. <laughs> So yeah, if you're watching this on, on YouTube as an upload, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this matchup? Does this, is this matchup single-handedly uh, gonna make or is making Ryu unviable? What about other matchups? Um, I think the Guile matchup in particular is quite rough. So yeah, that's all I have to say on this. GG's to Paladin, by the way, uh, for like getting so far into a stacked tournament, you know, and beating Pung, beating Idom. Uh, Paladin, absolutely phenomenal play right there. But against Knuckledo, it just looked so hopeless. This uh, actually makes me sad, you know, I kind of wish it would have been differently, but like the way this looks, I can't help but feel like, well, I feel right about saying that um, Ryu, he's just really lacking in some matchups. Okay, let's play some more rank. How about that? I download that sponsor thing for you. Like you pay attention to the downloads button in the bottom right corner. Um, if it increases its value, then it definitely worked. I'm not sure if you have three people at the moment um, installed. Um, so could have been one of you, sure. You you may have to st like to manual like start the game at least once, but I have no idea. I'm not 100% sure when exactly it triggers. It might be enough to just register and download the game. Here comes a new challenger. can also just check out the game. It's actually really, really, like, it visually looks very pleasing. It's a strategy game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be checking it out in a bit. Wow. So stupid, my bad. If you're on mobile, it, the promotion does not actually work. Um, this QR code was probably made with more than one promotion in mind. Sorry about that, but I have to tell you, if you want to participate in this promotion, it has to be on PC, so just ignore the QR code. Um, Oh, 
try to be greedy with level one, but realized it was just not gonna work out. The game is also for mobile, but the promotion that I'm doing is only for uh, PC. How do you do your cross cut? Here's my Street Fighter 5 cross cut tutorial. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a, a cross cut tutorial soon for Street Fighter 6 as well. The rules are approximately the same, but it's a little bit different in 6. There are slightly more things to pay attention to. the early lead. See, like, okay, okay, okay. I think I should really do that more often. It's the Paladin tech. Crouching medium punch drive rush cancel when you see the when you see green. Uh, okay. Why Hashogeki cuts so much of level 3's damage? It's actually not the Hashogeki, it's the Crouching Medium Kick. If you combo Crouching Medium Kick into anything, it uh, it adds a lot of scaling. Here comes a new challenger. 
<laughs> I just, just did it again, okay. It's only because I have to decide after a crutching medium kick do I want to cover EX like dry, uh, drive rush cancel or or this other shit. It's only because of that. So I need to have a completely different spacing. My crutching medium punch is whiffed. What do you do on days where everyone just jumps every fireball? Uh, what do you do on days? Well, you jab more. Yo, JCMRS2, thank you so much for the 15 bits, by the way, earlier. Jimmy, I believe you can check his Dragon Lash with a medium punch if you're fast enough. Like, before it comes out? No. No, 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 you cannot do that Because then you can just you, you could just option select it every time you're gonna get counter hit if you do that After the crouching medium punch I can interrupt his dragon lash with a jab if he does a medium dragon lash Wow, is that a bait?
I just cab. <laughs> just, 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 what? What? Why are you just standing there? <laughs> what? Oh, guys. Wake a back throw. Oh, it could have killed you. Wow, I could have killed him. I should have killed him. My man, are you crazy? This dude did not want to win. Just didn't want to win. Ah, oh, man, man. Okay, Ryu set. Let's go.
That was good. <sighs> we have the exact same idea. Okay. It's not gonna do a lot of damage. This is only to build uh, his drive gauge. Like seriously, why? Were you just standing there instead of doing the dungeon charge? Oh, I almost dropped it because of that. <laughs> Jesus. See, like, by the way, he got punished just for being overly aggressive. If he had just controlled it a little bit better, then he would have been fine. That was a crazy one. Crazy! My boy! I'm so stupid! I'm so stupid! What? I know EXDP does not have the best invincibility in the game, okay? I know it doesn't have the best invincibility. But that was just sad. Okay. 
I don't think he did it too early. I think he did it too late. Or maybe, actually, maybe you can probably do it like somewhere in between you can get it. I think if you're too early, let's try. I think if you're too early or too late, it's not going to work. Let's test. <clears throat> okay, if he had done it like this, it would have worked. Fuck? That traded. So so far, all of the variations, EXDP would have would have won. Be burnt out. Okay, what's gonna... Uh, okay, but where's the difference in when it comes to burnout? Okay, so let's say I'm burned out, so what? Oh! Wait, what? Like, you have to be like frame perfect or something like that to even get that. It was closer than that, yeah, right? Oh, there we go! I got him like this. But I don't even understand why. There's only like a very, like if you do it very late, what's gonna, go, going to happen is the projectile is just gonna go through me. If I do it very early, then the projectile is gonna miss me because of my invincibility and uh, like the, the, the tra trajectory going upwards, right? So I need to find the perfect sweet spot where the DP runs out of invincibility while the projectile is still on screen. It's actually very difficult to do. He got the sweet spot, yeah. You see, like, under normal circumstances, this will simply not work. Because regardless of whether you're too early or too late... Yeah, this is it. This is the frame that you need to get. I think that's frame perfect. I think you you have to fuck this up frame perfect for this to happen. Absolutely mind-blowing. Wow. That, that just happened in a real map. That was fate, right? <laughs> Task failed successfully. You have to have everything perfect, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, wow. That's actually amazing. Well, with that being said, guys, let's check out Call of Dragons, the sponsor for today's stream. Uh, if you want to check it out yourself, here's a link. Just download the game on PC 
and register with a proper account and uh, you actually get a, a free best of three set against me as a little extra perk. So let's check out the game. It's actually really visually pleasing. Give me a second, let me switch it up. Let's switch it up. But yeah, like that firewall there, that was absolutely insane. I, just, I still can't believe uh, that happened to me, you know? Actually crazy. Give me a second. There we go. So let's check it out. The prophecies had been forgotten. Like, check this out. Visually, we obsessed over old grudges. It's incredible. Repeating our tragic past. Hatred thrived. Growing oh, track duty. <laughs> Chat, yeah. As I said. Just download the game. We might actually be able to play it together, but I'm not quite sure about it. We're gonna be playing for one hour today, and tomorrow we're gonna be, um... Well, actually, not tomorrow, in two days, we're gonna be playing again for one hour. Fighter. It's I think it's a fantasy strategy game. I think it's a strategy game. Let's see. They tend to all call themselves an MMO, right? Let's see. It's a strategy build a base game. Yeah, see that? There we go. Got it right. Of the chaos to come. Let's go. I picked the elf waifu. Dark so you have three fallen. choices in a second, and I want the you guys to decide with nigh. me what to go with, but I have a definitely a tendency for the elf waifu, okay? It's hard to resist. Orc. But they're the ugliest. <clears throat> Orc is male wife. Orc is male wife. Did you just say that? I love how we don't have a, a word for husband anymore. Instead, we're just going to call it male wife. Street Fighter DLC is looking weird, man. We this is season two. This is how danger. what the game looks like when you get rid of Drive Impact and Drive Rush. It's quite different, right? How do we find destiny? Dark 
darkness has shrouded the land of Tamar. Okay. You are the warrior spoken of in prophecy. The fate of the realm lies. I feel like I life. have to pick the wife. Please. Waifu. Select a faction. Who's with me on waifu? Orc Nation. Hashtag Orc. I shouldn't do a poll, right? I feel like if I do a poll right now... Orc... The plan has no use for us. Okay. Wildeberg. Wildeberg's warrior value strength and honor and vow to use the power of dragons to conquer Tamaris. Okay. Legion physical attack plus three, destruction engineering plus ten percent. Okay. Uh, no thanks. What about this dude? League of Order. I don't like him. We're going with the Wifeberg, right? I don't like this guy. Also, what what's up? Like, why is he skipping leg day? Uh, yeah, leg day. Why is he? Sp like clearly skipping leg day. We can't have that, guys. Morally, there's only one good choice here. We gotta pick the beautiful elf waifu with the mano chin, okay? With the mano chin, okay. Interesting. Interesting combination. I see what you are going for. Nice. Spring wardens, let's go. As darkness threatens the world tree, the children of the forest swear to protect nature with their lives. Okay, I, li I like nature, okay? If this is nature, I like this. In the beginning, Tamaris was a tranquil paradise. Second, we were blessed with nature's bounty, and in the mist glade, we made our home. So, this is what the game is going to look like as the sons and daughters of Arabon, god of the forest, we were nurtured by the world tree. For generations, we protected nature and lived in this is called dragons. Forest. Fire rained from the sky, and the enemy arose from the darkness, as prophecy foretold. An ice-cold shadow is approaching the world tree, and the land is falling into chaos. The forest is beginning to wither. Street Fighter is done for today, yep. We're gonna be back in two days, actually. Uh, tomorrow my, Lord, my son is gonna get is in his, um... Protect it with all your might. Um... Greetings, my lord. I, I actually don't know what you, how to say that in English. Give me a forest. second. I'll look it up for you guys. Oh, right. Uh, his uh, his circumcision is actually tomorrow. So uh, we're currently we're not actually sure if we can go tomorrow because um, supposedly the streets are gonna be uh, frozen. So like we're hearing everywhere you should not drive with a car tomorrow. So we'll see if that's actually gonna work out tomorrow or not. So yeah, Eredrin, take a look at how cute she is. Goodbye, foreskin. Yeah, actually, mm, for my son, there are actually good medical reasons to do it, but I would have probably done it either way. The ancient prophecy has come to pass. 
A dark shadow is trying to taint the world tree's radiance. I will do my utmost to aid you, and to defend the forest against its enemies. At the moment, our sight is impaired by a mysterious mist. We must strengthen our homeland before disaster can strike. Building a lumber mill will provide us with the resources we need. Okay. Let's build the lumber mill. Start construction. Okay. Lumber mill, 100 gold. Here, what if I want to do it somewhere else? Collect wood. Uh, wood collected. We have all the wood we need. Now, we must strengthen our wall. This is, uh, uh, like right now I'm playing this on PC and the campaign that I'm doing is for PC only. So if you want to play this, if you want to have a free best of three set against me in Street Fighter, uh, you can download it on PC, create a proper account, not a guest account. That's an important step, otherwise it will not work. Um, and that's all you have to do. All you have to do is download the game. It's going to pop up on my stream. It's going to uh, increment the counter and you're good to go. You can play the game and you can have a set against me. It's actually very simple. This is obviously for both Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> we have all the wood we need now. Now we will strengthen our wall. Okay, so what do we do? Click on the wall and then strengthen it. Okay. The wall protects our city, as strong and unyielding as the most ancient of trees. We are much safer now. We need to train more soldiers. Soon, they will be the arrow with which we pierce the darkness. Okay. Simple. Simple, guys. Archery level. Take a look at this. I I I picked I picked wisely. Okay, guys, that's all I have to say on this. <laughs> we pledge our bows in service of the forest. Her enemies will pay the price. Now we have a legion. Very good. The god of the forest will soon know of their bravery and determination. Imagine the orc male wives, though. Yeah, I'm trying to not to imagine, okay? Really trying hard. Unknown Legion. My lord, there is an elf seeking our aid outside the city gates. She looks exhausted. We should give her a place to rest. Okay, let her in. I only have one option. My lord. Thank you for your shelter. May the moon shine upon you. I am Gwanwen of Moonvale. While out on patrol, we came under attack from a dragon, and then we were trapped in the mist. It took many days of wandering before I found you. Stars falling from the sky, dragons appearing once more. The ancient prophecy is coming to pass. That's not all. The dragon was accompanied by ferocious beings. They were laying waste to every village in their wake. Let's go. We the gotta beat them all, guys. Creatures, we gotta sure you can them. Darklings. Born from deep within the abyss, they aim to plunge all of Tamaris into darkness. Chat, it's it's actually not just the the uh the voice acting. Like the visuals are incredibly clear and high quality like uh, i i'm really the world like it's not just the opening faded. sequence if we cannot stop them like the character models the forest, they look really really forever. nice my lord intruders outside the city they're gathered around a bear performing some sort of ritual okay we gotta do something about it. With this bear under our control, we will lay waste to the city. They're the darklings I encountered earlier. The darkness surrounding that poor creature. I can tell it has something to do with their ritual. We have to stop them. My Let's lord, go. please. Let me lead your legion against them. 
It's the least I can do to repay you. Let's go. Okay. Arrow of the Wind, Gwen Win. Let's go. Before you set out, please come with me to the altar and take an artifact. Its power will aid you on the road ahead. Okay, let's go. Okay. Deals damage to the selected legion, darklings, dark creatures, and behemoths only. Hmm. Could this be of use to our forces? Hope so. My lord, thank you for your kindness. I will make the darklings pay for their foul deeds. Let's go. Quick! The ritual will soon be complete! You have my bow. Okay, so... This is quite interesting. If I do... Oh, okay. This can't be. <laughs> the AR... The R quieter. Not quite, but maybe I'm thinking about doing that as well. Thinking about branching out a little bit, and I have that in mind. <sighs> Undisciplined rabble. How huge is that bear, by the way? I that bear is exactly the same size as the entire, like... From this stone. Can sense a powerful force emanating from this stone, okay? Let's bring it back to the city and... Okay. Okay. If I can retain a viewer base, I don't mind branching out. In fact, it's something that I've been thinking about for a while. Like, doing sponsored content Lord, really helps a lot with that anyways, because routed. you get to see some different stuff. We can have some different conversations from time to time. If we're, like, we're doing 99% Street Fighter anyways, right? So it's nice to get some, something something different from time to time on this channel so if you want if you want to uh, check out uh, the game and uh, if you want to get a free best of three set exclamation mark C O D to get a link down the game on PC this is important it's a PC campaign and uh, create a proper account not a guest account and then you're good to go all you gotta do is download the game and you can have your set if you want to My lord, the Darklings have been routed. Okay. They were using this stone in their ritual. I can sense its power. This is what the Darklings were using to try to control that bear. There is a great darkness within this stone. At the moment, I have no idea of the secrets it could hold. My lord, please. Allow me to take the stone for research. I okay. have a feeling it could be the key to some great mystery. More worrying than the stone is the potential disaster that lurks behind it. Disaster which we cannot foresee. The streamer I like had a pricey point reward to redeem. You're streaming a game off your Steam library, that'd be a fun idea. I mean, that's effectively the same thing, right? Mm, 
Maybe, maybe I'll consider that, honestly. Please, send a scout into the mist. We must learn more. You know, like, if you're a streamer and you're like, okay, I would definitely be a variety streamer if I did Twitch, the biggest problem being a variety streamer is just having an audience. Like, it's very difficult to do that. Usually you're gonna slowly grow in a niche category on Twitch, and then branching out is usually gonna cost you viewers. And then once you make it to the very top of Twitch, then variety streaming actually helps you grow even further. So it really depends on what phase you're in uh, in your Twitch game. Okay, let's send a scout Lord, to the mist. I have traversed some of the most dangerous places in Tamaris. It would be my honor to explore the mist for you. Okay, let's go. Let's explore the mist. To boldly go. Ranger retreat. Okay. No trouble at all. Yo. It can turn into, like, what? Our scout has departed. All that he sees, he will relay to us. For now, let us return to our city and work toward its development. Okay. For now, we must continue building our homeland. The darkness Oops. is upon us. It's like a viewer's choice instead, resistance. if that makes sense. How pricey did he did he choose to do it? And did people actually go for it? Like, I'd be honestly curious. I might consider it. It's just that whenever... Like, you really have to keep that in mind. Like, whenever you're... You're streaming anything outside of your main game, there's a high probability you're losing a lot of money. <laughs> you know? If uh, full-time streaming is what you're doing, then that's uh, a real concern. If you're only doing it as a side thing, then it doesn't matter, obviously. My lord, the sacred form is the heart of our city. It nourishes and sustains us as roots to a tree. With every quest we complete, the world tree's revival comes closer. One day, life will bloom eternally across the land. Oh, wait a minute. He he had a choice for games, not through, like, some kind of redeem, redemption system through, like, uh, money, but actual channel points? Oh. No trouble at all. Okay. I'll consider that. I'll consider it. With every quest we complete, the world's tree's revival comes closer. One day, life will bloom eternally across the land. Okay. Until that day, we cannot cease in our endeavors. Oh, let's take a look at that. In the mist. We can claim that now. Hero conversation, okay. What about the mail? Let's see.
The herbulous hut has plentiful supplies of some of the finest medicinal her medicinal herbs nature has to offer, which we use to heal our wounded soldiers. Okay. The herbalist hut produces elixir, which heals your wounded units for free. Okay. Do I have someone who's currently? Oh yeah, okay, I actually did have someone wounded. Okay. Can you upgrade them? Skills? Each hero has their own unique skills, and they can lead our forces in a variety of situations. Okay. You can use hero tokens to upgrade the skills of that token's corresponding hero. When upgrading, an eligible skill is selected randomly from your hero's skills. I actually don't have any right now, right? Talent trees illustrate our <clears throat> hero's potential. Okay. Every time you level up a hero, they gain talent points. Okay. Okay. So take a look at how far you can go here. Okay. Okay. Stone turned to gold. Let's go. Maradrin has asked to speak with you regardless of strange stone you found that was being used to cast curses. My lord, I have been researching the stone you gave me. It is filled with a powerful dark energy. Even the wisest of our scholars have been unable to figure out its secrets. I've heard no end of talk about it recently. It's even been found in other places. People call it mana stone. The name comes from the text of the Augustone. When the stars fall in flames, mana stone shall rise. <laughs> Almost forgot I need to take my, my meds real quick. And now that it's appeared, all of Tamaris <clears throat> is covered in a sinister mist. Your Grace, I recommend we destroy it at once. And actually, now that I called her Manon, I really can't unsee it. <laughs> Wait, look at this. The light emitted by the mana stone brightens and fades. A black mist swirls within it. This black mist is a manifestation of the evil energies inside Manastone. Remember that bear we encountered outside the city? A powerful creature brought to heal by the Darkling's rituals. The power that subdued it was the very same as the mist you see within this stone. I remember it very well. It lay on the floor, shaking its head over and over, as if it had lost its mind. If this mana stone is as dangerous as it seems, then why haven't we destroyed it yet? The ritual we witnessed was not an isolated incident. Who knows how many more are taking place right at this moment and succeeding. Rather than destroying it, I believe that if we can purify mana stone, we may be able to free those poor creatures of its curse. Hopefully, is the story the same regardless of which alliance you cho choose? Probably not. But I don't know. Uh, you would have to test it out. Like, you tell me. Chatty. Like, you go pick the, the orc wives, okay? The, the, the male wives. And let me know. Hmm. I see what you mean. But we still know next to nothing about it. Where do we even begin? If Mana Stone has indeed been corrupted, it must have a pure, natural state. Save for the black mist within it, 
It seems very similar to ordinary volcanic rock. In particular, dragon glass. I already redeemed your code. <clears throat> oh, I can see. Downloads is four now, not three, right? Or a link, rather, yeah. If I were able to compare the two substances through experimentation, I might be able to find out more. Yeah, definitely. If you guys are watching, try out Call of Dragons for free. Obviously, this is completely free. Uh, you get a best of three set against me in Street Fighter. Uh, and a chance to get a replay analysis on top of that. Uh, just download the game and uh, uh, on PC with a regular account, no guest account, please. And then it's going to help us towards the goal on the channel. And hopefully, uh, like if you're lucky, you get a replay analysis I saw a on top of it. Made of dragon glass once at Silver Star Bazaar. I saw a dagger made by dragon glass once at Silver Star Bazaar. Okay. It was deadly sharp, yet light as a feather. Even if you threw it into the sea, <clears throat> it would not sink, but it was extremely expensive. And if we need dragon glass for our experiment, uh, how much do you think you'll need, Eredrin? I'm afraid it won't come cheap. There's little they don't sell at Silver Star Bazaar. But since the Night of Burning Stars, the trade routes have seen no end of disruption. I can't be sure that they'll have dragon glass at the bazaar, or even if it's still there at all. Huh? Erdogan nods at you and pockets the mana stone. Please, allow me to join you. Okay. Life must go on, and even in the face of Darkling Menace, Silverstar Bazaar is as bustling as ever. From delicious looking potatoes to glittering gems, it seems there is nothing here that's not for sale. Seeing that you stick out here, a number of peddlers approach you, falling over each other in their eagerness to hawk their wares. <coughs> Yo, Lord Chaos, what's up? Good to see you on Twitch. Alas, Jimmy. Sir Jimmy. You're still here streaming, it seems. I certainly am. Ask them if they have dragon glass. Tell them you're just browsing. No. The peddlers look at each other in dismay, shake their heads with a pained expression, and scurry off. Only one peddler remains with a very earnest air. Air. He comes up to you, undoes the drawstring of a bag, and begins talking a mile a minute about dragon glass. You peer into the bag of stones. They're pitch black like dragon glass, but they look muddy on the inside. You weigh one in your hand. It's nowhere near as light as you expected. Let's keep listening to what he has to say. A young halfling woman approaches, cutting off the peddler's sales pitch, and he slinks away crestfallen. There's a flyer stuck to the donkey beside her. Advertising, among other things, dragon glass. Okay. Name's Killer. Not to brag, but I am known far and wide as the savviest trader in all of Tamaris. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, my lord. Wouldn't be a very savvy trader without a decent pair of eyes, would I? Jesus <laughs> Christ, Kella! Be without a trusted sage, Donkey. Say hello to our guests. <laughs> You're here for dragon glass, ain't you? Not much of it on the market these days. 
Nobody seen so much as a glimpse of the stuff. You ought to give some credit to the voice actor, Jesus. Uh, today's your lucky day, hon. I just so happen to have some in stock. Of course. Went all the way to the Dragon's Maw to get it. And I examined it all myself. Top tier stuff, perfectly transparent, light as a feather. Let me take a look. Uh, well, uh, I don't actually have it on me <laughs> right now. Suspicious. It's all yours, though. I just might need a little help. Suspicious. What happened? Well, things have been a little chaotic since the night of burning stars. A couple days ago, I ran into a horde of those awful darklings. I was walking down a road I have walked a thousand times, and I got robbed in broad daylight. Mama always said, life's worth more than gold. Took me about three seconds to decide to drop all my goods and turn tail. How awful. May Arbon bless you. May Arbon bless you. When I came back later, the Darklings had taken all the dragon glass I had. Yeah, this VA put more effort into this than everyone else so far. Definitely. Not even a shard left behind. And now, the road to the Dragon Mall has been blocked off. And that was the only dragon glass anybody could get their hands on for miles. Lucky for us, Drunky picked up the robber scent. Led me right back to their camp. It's not far from here. Let's, like, somebody talking like that, we gotta Times trust. Like that, it warms my heart. It truly does. You have my word. Is it a, a drunky like Shrek? If you can help me get my goods back, the dragon glass is yours. Free of charge. Deal. Oh, good. Kella keeps her word. Ask anyone. She won't keep her word, right? My bow is drawn. Okay. I feel like I'm not well prepared for this fight, am I? I guess we'll see. Just as it should be. Never mind, guys, we're doing good. <clears throat> Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, is there a problem? I am Gwanwyn of Moonvale. May the moon bless all beings. Wait, why am I like completely outside of the the quest that I was in? Of course, your grace. Main quest. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Yo, Letizia, good to see you. Or Letitia. Good to see you, and shout out to the Brazilian audience. Uh, I've been, uh, I know a lot of you guys enjoy uh, my stream. It's a pleasure having uh, having you here.
Okay, so we named ourselves. Good. So where do we actually... What did what did she say? Let me see. I have already done the knuckle do analysis today. I'm already done with that. It's going to YouTube soonish, okay? It's supposedly not far from here, right? That's what she said. But I don't know where it's supposed to be. Oh, there it is. Okay. My bow is drawn. Let's go, bow. Just watch the YouTube video of the match and it was amazing. Oh, I'm so happy you found it uh, to be good. I honestly, I, I have been thinking of about doing like analysis like this for a while now. But I keep thinking to myself, who's going to watch one hour like full breakdown of a pro match? And I think I, I was completely wrong on that. I think people are genuinely interested. Just as it should be. Okay. Legendary hero. Lilia. Lil Lilia. The battle over Kella cannot restrain herself from rushing to look over the dragon glass. Kella, is this all of the dragon glass you lost no i had a whole bag full now there's less than half of it left dang thieving red eyes don't they know how hard it is to be an entrepreneur i appreciate you trying to comfort me hon but to lose all that dragon glass hold on donkey's holding his right hoof up that means there's danger afoot. Non-stop. Definitely check out Call of Dragons on PC. Get a free set. All you gotta do is download the game. Please sign up. If you sign up, uh, don't do it with a guest account. Because then it will not work. I thought it's Call of Duty. <laughs> Those dirty thieving scoundrels have got to be nearby. This game is free, yes. The game is free. If you want to support me, if you want to uh, check out the game yourself. Very high quality visuals. And uh, like honestly, everything. Like The voice acting is really awesome as well uh, so far. Uh, really, really good. Check it out. Uh, and you get a set against me for free. And a chance to get a replay analysis on top of that. I can't stand to lose any more dragon glass fun. We better hot tail it out of here. Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. I have to scout here, right? How's that work again? Actually, let's go back to um, our city. Okay. Yo, Zero Ronin. Sponsored, yep. <laughs> oh my god. The orcs in this game. Male wife. Okay, so, um... There's nobody wounded, so no need to do anything. What about my heroes, though? Where can I check my heroes? Oh, there we go. This guy is so bad. Mm hmm. It's quite a lot of stuff that we have to do first. Within the mist lies great danger and great opportunity. This path your scout to begin exploring, okay? Swift as the wind. He's so goofy looking, I love him. It's hard to disagree, but it's also hard to uh Ah, if you know somebody is bad, you know, it's just not good. <laughs> okay. Oh, right, this is where I heal. The road is my home. What is this? Archer's level two, right?
about the lumber mill? Oh, I, ha I can only do one thing at a time. I just realized that unless I upgrade it, right? Okay, that's good to know. Okay, now that I upgraded it though, like what do I, do I actually... Archers 2 required. What does that mean? I'm trying to... Oh. Level one mint. Oh. The upgrade to our sacred hall will be complete in five minutes. I understand. Construction complete. As you can see, it makes sense to use a speed up item if you. New feature unlocked alliance. There we go. Let's do this. Okay, so now I can upgrade this. Two minutes. What do I have to do to get archers level two? I feel like I'm missing something, right? What am I missing here? Do I have to train the same units? Maybe from upgrading the buildings. Okay, we got the fungal tree. Rain Iron Bark Tria. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, training speed up is actually a lot more. A lot slower. Okay. Defeat a level three Darkling Legion. How do I find? Okay. My bow is drawn. Our bow is drawn, guys. We got this. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. You know, it's kind of funny. Like, uh, I feel like I've just started the game. And I've already been playing for almost one hour. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> So yeah, just so you guys know, tomorrow... No stream tomorrow. Draw the string and fire. Oh, there we go, we can upgrade the talents. Bam! No stream tomorrow. But obviously in two days, right? And then we're going to be checking out a lot more. And we're going to be playing another hour as well.
Welcome to Tomorrow's, okay? Miracle workers. Okay. Let's build them. Upgrade mint to level two. Explore Mistiles X120. Almost. No trouble at all. Can we now check out like the level two? No, apparently not. Sacred Hall level four is necessary. My lord, under your leadership, our city has grown like a tree in the spring sunshine. Yeah, chap, take care. I'll see you soon. Once the Sacred Hall has been upgraded, our city will grow to a new size. But before that can happen, we need to upgrade our wall. Okay. Wait 23 seconds here. Upgrade your sacred hall to level 4. Archery range to level 2. Choose an avatar. Oh. We need, uh, uh well, a white is over us. Mm. Noble Celestial. Okay. There we go. go getting bigger guys okay we went from a settlement to a village there we go Still can't do level two, guys. We'll figure it out eventually, okay, guys? We'll figure it out. Oh, okay. So the campaign, we're, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check all of this out later on. But yeah, for now, I think we're pretty good.
so yeah this actually already concludes the one hour uh, that I want to spend today on um, uh, Call of Dragons so once again um, thank you so much for tuning in for today I really appreciate all the support really hope you had a good time today as well tomorrow I'm gonna be quite busy as I said uh, but yeah if you want to have a uh, a set against me completely for free check out call of dragons you know it's a fun little game it's visually very pleasing uh the the waifus are very pleasing <laughs> uh the voice acting is really nice so far so good in two days we're going to be continuing um to explore this game and trying to get as far as possible within one hour um which is <laughs> not a lot of time but i'm going to try my best to make as much progress as possible within that time frame so yeah once again thank you so much for checking this out with me a uh, shout out to call of dragons for sponsoring today's stream and as i said check out the game it's a lot of fun uh and if you buy it on pc wow it's no fun being a lawyer the finance Amt alliance awaits you Oh my god, somebody's ha this is a joke, right? Somebody's playing a joke on me. Awesome. <laughs> Will we see some analysis today too? I did to uh, do an analysis. Um, the knuckle do analysis has already been done. Um, and I will upload it to YouTube, okay? Um, uh, we're done for today's stream, but obviously more to come in two days when I'm back on Twitch. So yeah, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. For today i really appreciate all the support uh take care and i'll see you guys soon